Hello and good morning. A warm welcome to you this Friday morning. My name is Lucy Riley and you're watching TV 47. Today we are live at the Sari Center where we're having the Agro and Poultry Trade International Trade Expo that's actually happening here. We have various companies from different countries all around the world who are here really to showcase what they have as far as farming, agriculture, poultry and products is concerned. Various countries such as Pakistan, Czech Republic, Kenya, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, among others, such as Morocco, are here and we'll be actually talking to some of them to find out what are their expectations from today's event, what products do they have, and who is the main target market. Stay tuned as I get to speak to a couple of the representatives from the companies. Hello, and how are you doing today? Very fine, very okay. Yes, Kindly share with us a little bit about your company. Also tell us your name and which company you represent, which country you're from, and perhaps what you uh, hope to achieve today from today's event. Okay, my name is Adnan Hussain, and this is my colleague, Rehan. We are from Pakistan, Hilton Pharma. We are representing actually Hilton Pharma. Hilton Pharma is uh, one of the largest company in Pakistan. We are actually engaged in the manufacturing of uh, human medicine and as well as the animal health products and some food supplements also we are manufacturing. So we are among top 10 manufacturer in Pakistan. And this is the first time we are actually participating in this uh, event in Kenya. So we are uh, hoping that uh, we can get some good uh, clients here because we are actually looking for a good distributor for the our animal health products so hopefully we will get let's see all right fantastic so this means that you are currently do not have an uh, office or a branch in Kenya and you're looking for a distribution or partners to come across and actually buy some of the products and partner with you right actually we have the partner for the pharmaceutical products human health we have a good distributor here but we are looking after for the any animal health product distributors actually so uh, let's see okay, what uh, we have maybe we have some good uh, interaction today then we will finalize within this during with this visit share with me briefly a little bit about the animal health products that you actually have and what exactly they entail and what they do actually uh, we have uh, the range for the poultry uh, all uh, food additives, antibiotics we have for uh, cattle also we have the same uh, range of antibiotics range and food additives. So mostly we are actually very good in Pakistan and the poultry region, uh, range of products. But we have also the cattle because Nairobi and Kenya actually especially is good in the cattle farming. But uh, poultry farming actually is evolution for, uh, stage in uh, Kenya. So, uh, but we are very strong in the poultry. So we have some of our products here we have mentioned. And then uh, it's about uh, 16, 17 products actually we are manufacturing in the multivitamins, other food additives, antibiotics. And for poultry also we have one of good product like uh, liver tonic also we have. So uh, this is our range. Uh, could you share with me, has there been any kind of challenge uh, trying to penetrate the market here and getting more and more uh, partnerships and even uh, farmers to come on board and purchase some of these products? For actually uh, f uh, regarding the animal health, we actually right now we don't have in this market. So we don't know, uh, uh, we don't have any challenge actually like that, okay, okay, which I can uh, uh, share with you. But thing is that uh, actually Kenya market is still origin, we think, uh, we think that uh, in animal health. So this is a very good opportunity for uh, Hilton Pharma to enter in animal health. Regarding if you if you talk the journal about the uh, the pharmaceutical markets, including human health, of course there are many challenges. Especially the uh, the price competition is very high, so it is very difficult to you know to provide the good medicine, the quality medicine, in the good prices. So we are trying our best. So quality actually is our strength. This is our claim actually. So human health, we are providing very good products and uh, very off affordable prices so same we will try our best to provide the same uh, with the same uh, you know uh, our strength the good quality with the affordable price in animal health as well right. and maybe just one last question what kind of value do you think that this is going to have or is already having uh, in the Kenyan context in terms of as far as agriculture and animal health is concerned and even in human health um, what kind of value is it uh, impacting the society here in Kenya 
the value which we can add actually the that our actually the one slogan is that the the most important thing in uh, kenya market or any third world country the people actually suffering because of uh, the the low purchasing power so the value added actually if we add the value that is the quality with the affordable price this is our actually single logo single uh, uh, bench mark actually this is actually we want to provide these things this is a we can add the value of this one thing i would like to add here that uh, for the farmers you are asking for what value we are adding when you will be attracting more and more uh, poultry and cattle products so you'll get the benefit of the pricing for the farmers so the in the in, in a very uh, you know the reasonable pricing they'll be getting the products for the healthy uh, you know their um, poultry and cattle and uh, i think uh, if you'll be expanding the market down here for opportunity opening the opportunity uh, for the poultry and other products you'll be definitely getting the opportunities for the employments if the company will come down here definitely you, the kenyan people will get the opportunity for the employment yeah so that these is. are the basic reason that uh, economically in both sides the they'll be getting the lower pricing product with high quality and the opportunity for the human right. resource uh, th that's how uh, you know the uh, attraction will come for the local people yes. yeah right Thank you very much. Uh, there we heard it. This is Hilton Pharma uh, from Pakistan. And uh, we're really excited because definitely we're looking for more quality products at the lowest price and creating more opportunities for the local market and human resource. You're listening to TV47 and I'm Lucy Riley. Hello and welcome back. Remember, we are at the Sarid Center and you're watching TV 47. So I've got with me a couple of uh, gentlemen from Turnshine Machinery. Kindly share with us your name and a little bit about your company. Yeah. My name is James Chow from Taiwan uh, Xinjiang Group. Uh, I'm the manager of the Turnshine Machinery directly. And this is my brother, Dennis, from Xinjiang and the uh, Xinjiang director. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. So, yeah. yeah. So, All right. My name is uh, Dennis Chow from Taiwan. We are the only one company produce the offset machine, uh, UV spark coating machine with the high speed 10,000 sheet. We have more than 10 machinery in Africa, Nairobi, Ken uh, Kenya, Mombasa, uh, South Africa, uh, like a rotary sheeter, like a OPV laminated machine. Uh, we we are first time to come to the Africa show. We hope our product will help all the Africa business printing industry to get more progress. Uh, this is the main purpose we come over here. Uh, hope this information will bring to all the great Asia and Africa market. If need any information, please visit our website. It's a Xin Xin Tenxin Xin Chi Enterprise. Thank you. Fantastic. So James Chow, perhaps you can actually take me through each and every single product that you have okay. and what it is that they do. Is that all right? The first, I will introduce our over 60 years old group, uh, Xinjiang group, the Xin Chi. This company, they are produced the uh, uh, paper sheeter and the paper laminating machine. And this mach uh, the sheeter and laminating machine in the Kenya over 10 machine, they are uh, one very famous company, Renko. They already bought three machines and uh, also the varnishing. Yeah, this is over 60 years old, uh, our headquarter, Xinjiang group, Xinjiang group. And the next is the over 35 years, uh, is the Tenshine Machinery. This company uh, is to uh, selling the uh, used equipment. The company only selling the overhaul equipment, not sell the as is. Uh, all the machines we will renew and uh, sold to the customer. We also sold many in here. And also this company produced the cutting, cutting line. The cutting machine line is for paper guillotine, yeah? 
and the, and the, the last one is our international packaging luxury uh, paper paper making company. Uh, this company we make all kinds of the uh, high quality bugs like for the gift and also for the fruit. This is the uh, the very important the, the fruit for the fruits. Uh, there are only one. We start from Taiwan. Now it's uh, it's very easy for the gift for the present sent to the the customer. Inside you can put all kind of uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the fruits or or as anything else you can put. We make the uh, the wine, wine farms. So you can see all all this is we produce from uh, Iran and the iron. So you can find this kind of box from the uh, airport, any airport, the uh, duty free wine shop. Okay. So just a question, uh, Mr. James Chow. Uh, do you mean to say that all these uh, companies here, for example, Glenfiddich and uh, Bacardi, their boxes, the packaging is actually done by this company? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, this factory is yeah. from zero, from the yeah. raw material, paper, printing machinery, die cutting, hard stamping. So we done from A to Z. Yeah. It's one product for everything to customers. And this is the plastic. This is for the uh, golf graph, and and this is for the ball, golf ball. This is for golf ball, and this is for the for the rigid box. You need to get And this is white box. I can show you this one. It's it's very very high quality. The outside we have the hard stamping, cord cord foil, and the embossing. You can touch. The, the leaf is like a life one, right. okay? Yes. And uh, this is for the, this, this one, special for the jerry. Yes. And the chocolate also, we make very, very high quality one. Right. Okay? Yes. So. Thank you very much, uh, James hope, Chow. Yes. Yeah, okay. I hope we can show our machine for the Kenya, or Africa, and all our products, if you necessary, you can contact with us. We can do the best service for the all Africa country and the Kenya people. Your country is getting better. I believe the packaging will be grows up very, very quick. Then we can do the machine service, uh, finishing service, cutting service, and the produce the box for for this country. Yeah. And so, all right. Uh, Africa has a, a very flourish of the agriculture. Um, I've been in this market for more than 10 years. I recognize that the food packaging bugs are very necessary in this market. So this kind, we bring the fruit bugs, gift bugs, any kind of uh, packaging bugs come here, introduce to every market. Uh, if you feel need any product, please contact Tenshine Machinery or Xinjiang Group. We are from Taiwan, and we are proud of the product from Taiwan, and we love Africa. We hope to help the market business in Africa to make in progress in this decade. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. There you heard it. Remember, we are coming to you live from Sarit Center. You're watching TV 47. I'll hand you over to the Kenya Film graduation ceremony that's actually taking place. Over to you, Paul Kirobi.
Welcome back. That was Kenya Film School graduation ceremony. Thank you so much, Paul Kirobi. Remember, today we are at the Sarit Center, and we apologize for some of the technical uh, issues that we are actually experiencing down here. Today's event is the International Trade Show, or Expo, where, which is aimed at actually targeting various companies to come down and showcase what products they have as far as agriculture is concerned, farming, and poultry, in order to attract investors both locally and internationally. We had several companies from Egypt, from Czech Republic, from Morocco, and other countries. And the main goal, really, is to promote agriculture around the globe and right here in Kenya. So uh, follow me as we actually go to Com Compaq Company here, and we will talk to... Hello, how are you doing? Good. Yes. Kindly tell us your name and a little bit about this company. Well, my name is Michael. I work for Comap. Comap is an original chain company. It's been established more than 20 years ago. And we do products for power generation, marine, gas, and uh, renewables. So tell me about today. What are you looking forward to achieving? What particular technology or product are you uh, pushing for? And how is the reception so far? Well, what we are trying to achieve here, we are trying to be more visible in the market here. And, well, this exhibition is pretty small, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, so far, have you had uh, quite a number of investors or partners coming down and uh, the reception? Are they interested in purchasing? For example, I see today you have technology that you are actually promoting today. Yeah. Is that so? But yeah, I would say it's too early because exhibition just started. It started a couple of years, couple of hours ago. So we'll see. We'll see in two days how it goes. If anybody is interested in actually partnering with you, how then can they reach to this company? Uh, well, okay, they can definitely reach us through our website, or they can actually reach us through our local partner here, which is EDL, and uh, yeah, that, that's, a, that's the channel. So your website is comupcontrol.com, is that so? Uh, that's correct. Thank you so much, Michael, and uh, we look forward to actually interacting with you later on as we go. All right, thank you. So there you heard it. We would like to actually hear from another company here uh, what they have, uh, what kind of products they have. And uh, this particular company is called Big Dutchman. It's a Kenyan company, actually, uh, specifically on poultry and everything to do with poultry. You can see there's chickens here and chicks. And we want to see the kind of machinery they have because they have quite huge equipment here. So if we can talk to uh, the representative who is here. Sorry. All right, so while the representative is actually uh, uh, speaking to a customer or a client, then we will take a walk and actually view what other companies are represented here. This is uh, Big Dutchman, and uh, we will actually be coming back to you uh, on that same company. So kindly follow me. Right. Remember, we're coming to you from the International Expo uh, that's happening here at the Sarit Center. This is Tasdir Holdings, a company from Egypt, and we'd actually like to hear from them a little bit about the product, how they've set up, what is their company about. Hello, and how are you doing today? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm excellent. Yeah. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about this company. Also tell us your name and what position you hold in the company. Uh, my name is Amr Abdulhalak uh, from Tasdir Holding, Egypt. Uh, I am an export director for the company. Actually, we are a group of uh, 13 companies based all in Egypt, uh, producing all kinds of uh, packaging material for food and non-food material as well. All right, thank you. Um, so all kinds of packaging material. Kindly take me through. I see quite a few products here, and uh, perhaps you can share with me what these, what is going on. Actually, we are producing uh, packaging material for uh, fresh food, uh, short shelf life um, food and long shelf sh life uh, food. For short l l shelf sh life, like this plastic trays, this uh, used for uh, takeaway for restaurant and uh, ready made uh, meal, plastic container, paper cups, aluminium foil container as well. Uh, this is for short life uh, food. For long life shelf food, we are producing uh, 
بيبر سوري باكجينج ماتيريال فور كوفي فور ميلك باودر فور سناكس فور باستا رايز اول ذيس تايب اوف ماتيريال Tell me about the competition right here in Kenya. Do you find are the markets being very receptive? Are there other companies that are definitely doing the same thing as you? And how have you been able to actually pull through and uh, get more and more customers to be partners with your company? Actually, there is some uh, good competition here in Kenya. There are some good uh, companies working already in some of our products. Uh, we do not find this as a competition. We, we find this as a cooperation as we can increase the quality of our products between them and us. Uh, but for some items, uh, we do not found some uh, uh, factories cover the demand of the market. I see that uh, Kenyan demand is increasing uh, uh, every year, and we are covering this part of uh, the market. Yes. And uh, what do you aim to achieve in the next two days while you've set up your stand here at uh, Sari Center? Actually, we are uh, waiting to see more customers. We have already some customers here in Kenya, but we are ready. We want to, to have more customers. We improve our relation with them and open market for our products. And we can cooperate with them to open market for their products in Egypt as well. And uh, other than Kenya and in Egypt, where else is uh, this particular company located and uh, how has been the distribution countrywide and Africa as a continent as, uh, in a whole? Uh, do you mean? Uh, so do I, uh, what I mean is um, for the rest of the Africa, other yeah. than in Kenya and in Egypt, do you also have distribution going to other countries here? In yes, yes. Actually, we have uh, in uh, Zimbabwe, we have in Ghana, we have in Uganda, in Niger. Uh, also, we are exporting to European countries like France, UK, El Germany, Italy, and the USA as well. And we, but we see that the uh, relation between Egypt and African country is more tight than the other countries. Right. Yes. That's very good. So we wish you all the best today and uh, definitely keep doing what you're doing. And uh, yes, you have been watching TV 47 and we're coming to you from Sarit Center. I'll hand you back over to the studio where you will get more information. I'm yours, Lucy Riley.